Hi there. Today, we're gonna go over the new 6.15 patch notes. This is gonna be a quick video. I just wanna keep you guys up to date and let you know what's going on in game from the patch notes that we get from the developers. So in patch 6.15, we got the Chronicles of New Era quest added. So this is the Omega quest line if you have done it. This is just a continuation of that quest line and now you can go back and do the last two quests uh, to finish out that story. We also got a new side quest, Tataru's Grand Endeavor. This starts in Old Charlayan or the beginning of Endwalker. So you have to get there in order to be able to do this quest as well as complete the main scenario quest, Newfound Adventure. We also finally got some further Hildebrand adventures. So this Hildebrand side quest starts in Ulda. It's a very, very long side quest, like a very long side quest. So if you have not completed it at all, um, you got a long ways to go before you can do these ones. Uh, but if you're up to date, make sure to go and do these uh, two quest series that got added. I'm super excited about the crafting side of patch 6.15. We got new custom deliveries, which you can do in Old Charlayan, and you have to have completed the main scenario quest and walker in order to start the custom deliveries. Custom deliveries is just a way to get weekly scripts, white scripts and purple scripts for crafters and gatherers. We also got our tribal quest added and do note that they're no longer beast tribes, but they're tribal quests. The new tribal quests are for the Arcasadora, which are an Endwalker. You've seen these all around on all of the marketing for Final Fantasy on Instagram and Facebook. This is a battle quest, so you'll need a battle character. So it's not a crafter one yet. I believe the next tribal quest coming out later down the road is going to be a crafting one. It's a really good quest line. Once you get there, make sure that you actually pay attention to the quest. It's really, really good. And it looks like it's going to pan out to be one of the better stories that Final Fantasy has done for tribal quests. We got some new furnishing items. These are pretty cool. Now that I have an FC house, I actually pay attention to this section. Um, I really like this one right here. The wood seems pretty cool, like to jump up on top of a little tower. I don't have any space for it uh but yeah that one's pretty cool new cards for triple triad collection people and there's a lot out there that love to collect these things we had some pvp updates for ninja and black mage it looks like just a little bit of a nerf a uh, hidden effect will now end even when using sprint base cure potency has been reduced from 10 to 8,000 for the self heal for ninja and pvp black mage doesn't have any charges to paradox nightwing doesn't reduce target movement anymore when you have the half asleep effect and soul resonance damage reduction from apocastasis effect has been changed from 20 to 10. So just a little bit of a debuff there or balance, I should say. Items added in patch 6.15 will be later, listed at a later date. Same for recipes. Now all of our moon word uh, moon ward items, which were 570, can now be turned in for expert deliveries, which is awesome because you're going to get a lot of these if you're uh, in endgame and before you couldn't desynthesize them or sell them or turn them in for grand company seals, but now you can, which is super, super, super cool. That just had to do with our custom deliveries. We have new fish, new items added to gathering points, uh, this new mount, which I'm so, so excited to get. It looks so cool. Cannot wait to get this mount. This has to do with the tribal quest that was added. So that's how you get this mount. Same with this minion right here. So freaking cool. I cannot wait. That is the cutest freaking minion I've ever seen. So I'm very excited about that. New achievements added and everything else that they talk about. So it's pretty a small uh, 6.15. We'll get a, obviously a really big update in 6.2. Remember that we're getting Astro and Dragoon rework for in 6.2. So looking forward to that. 6.18 is just around the corner. Um, and that's going to give us data center travel, which we're all very, very, very looking forward to. So that's pretty exciting. So hopefully we can get more information on that. And the last thing I want to look forward to is um, Island Sanctuary. I have not seen any information about that. So if you guys have seen any information about Island Sanctuary, let me know. Um, but I am just looking forward to it, completely looking forward to it. So this is just for patch 6.15. Um, and again, this is just to keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the game for new players and just keep them, you know, start learning to look at the patch notes when they come out because they're really important and give you all the new information. So if you want to watch more Endwalker guide and tutorials or previous past notes, then you can click here.